<laughs> oh my gosh. What's up, you guys? Today is the 25th of January. And I wanted to show you guys some products. If you're a mother, a father, a guardian, aunt, uncle, babysitter, or whatever you are, if you change pat pampers, you need to listen because I wish someone had told me about these products. And I didn't find out about them until I was just late night surfing and my baby uses, I use baby powder for my baby and I use just regular pampers for him. I don't do cloth diapering anymore because he grew out of his cloth diapers. But um, when he wakes up in the morning, if I put a regular diaper on him, hold up. If I put a regular diaper on him, uh, he wakes up in the morning and his pamper is soaked. And he always takes like a morning dump. Sorry, baby, to put you on blast. Come say hi, too. Say hi. Can you say hello? Say hi, everybody. Hello. So when he wakes up in the morning, sorry, didn't put you on blast. But when he wakes up, his pampers are soaked. He drinks a lot of bottles throughout the night. I don't know if it's just a habit. I don't think that... um. He even realizes that he's doing it, but he drinks a lot of milk throughout the night, probably more throughout the night than he does throughout the day. Um, so I need to kind of wean him off of that. But from drinking all his milk, he tends to have really thick, soaked diapers. And I don't change his diaper throughout the night. If he were to go poop or something, obviously I would. Um, but I don't do that. So I came across these overnight huggies which I was kind of skeptical about because I thought maybe my son just went a pee too much and I needed to start weaning him off of the bottle, which I probably do. Um, but these Huggies are, are specifically made for overnight. And I saw the reviews on Amazon. They were all really good reviews. It had like five stars out of five stars which isn't very common unless the product is like usually amazing. Usually when I'm like first buying products or looking for products, I'll look up products. I'll have a few and then I'll read the reviews on Amazon, YouTube, um, the actual website, anywhere that I need to read them on. And um, these had good reviews. So I was kind of skeptical. Um, but these actually work. If you guys can actually tell, they, they're the the fabric on the um, this overnight diaper is a lot more thicker. And when he wakes up in the morning, he has he usually does like all his business in the morning. So I wait until he takes his dump also. And then I change his diaper. Unless it's like super, super full, then I'll change it. And then he'll take his dump because um, I'd rather him just be comfortable. <laughs> um, but if you're looking for good diapers, I really suggest the overnight ones. They don't leak. They've tried all the pampers. I've tried Huggies, the regular Huggies. I've tried Loves. I've tried pamper, like Pampers. I've tried Honest Company in the past with my other kids. They didn't really have leaking problems because they were all breastfed. So throughout the night, they weren't getting like nine ounces of milk out of each boob like multiple times. But this boy here is getting like eight, nine ounces um, multiple times throughout the night, which is a lot. So um, I've never really had to look for overnight Pampers because with my other kids, they weren't really filling their Pampers up a lot. And another thing I wanted to share with you guys is the Burt's Bees Dusting Powder. I never really knew the difference between talcum powder, like Baby Johnson powder, and like regular powder until I tried this one. It smells good. And have you noticed, if you use um, baby powder on your babies, you'll probably notice like the Johnson & Johnson. When you put it on, you'll kind of notice like a cloud of powder kind of goes in their face and in your face. And I really try to avoid that because I get worried about the powder getting in their lungs and their nose in their mouth in their eyes it's just not something that you want to put in your baby's face and the Johnson and Johnson claims to be talc free I don't know if it's true or not but the pow this powder is really actually only cornstarch and it has other natural things like um it has benzonite, rosa centifolia flower powder, ulmus fulva bark fragrance, which is natural fragrance, and lemony and cornstarch. And that's the only thing that's on there. And I've noticed with this powder, when I put it on his pamper, 
um, it doesn't make a cloud at all. I think I use a lot. I'm pretty generous with it because I don't want him to be walking around with a sweaty butt or anything. I want him to be nice and comfortable, fresh smelling. I just really like to take care of my baby. And this powder is amazing. I wish someone told me about this powder when I was looking for a powder because I usually just buy whatever powder I can find at the store, um, which is the cheapest. And those powders always get in his face and his eyes and his nose in his mouth and I just I get worried that it's gonna mess up his lungs or something you know but this powder doesn't do that Burt's Bees has awesome it smells like the Burt's Bees shampoo if you've ever used Burt's Bees before they have this powder is really good I got two on Amazon for like 11 bucks which is a pretty good deal they're kind of small compared to the bigger powder um, containers usually I get the cheapest biggest container but I really do believe in quality over quantity and when it comes to our children extra investment for overnight pampers and dust free um, baby powder is completely worth it especially for the dust free because you could actually get like lung problems from inhaling powder you know um so if you're looking for something that's really good quality and natural birds bees powder is awesome and huggies overnight pampers are awesome no leaks so if you don't like leaks, I don't like leaks, get these. And if you don't like dust in your face, in your baby's face especially, get that. All right? So I hope you guys are good. And I have another video coming up for some cool stuff I want to show you. All right? So talk to you guys later. Shalom.